First thing you notice when you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch, you have a new application called Cydia. So I'm going to open that up. It's in the upper left hand corner. It is that little box, that little brown um, application I just opened. And a few problems that you're going to face when you do jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. Cydia is going to be your main downloader for applications and other cool things. So it does take fairly long to load. So there are other alternatives to Cydia like Rock and Icy, but they are not going to be your main downloaders. Maybe Rock, but definitely not Icy. So um another problem that you're going to face is that if you do jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch, it voids your warranty that you have with Apple. So that's a little downfall about it. Also, if you go into an Apple store asking questions and they find out that you do have an I a jailbroken device, they will reject your service. I don't know if they can do any legal issues or uh, get you in trouble. I doubt they can, but they will reject your service without a doubt. So uh, let's go into Cydia and talk a little bit about it once it loads. So you see in the top this top bar right here that is downloading sources and whenever it can't find new packages it will say error refreshing da data what I'm gonna do is click OK and it is going to say reload data now on my device it takes about five minutes because I have so much crap on this but if you have a normal device it will take shorter but I'm just gonna cut this part out so you guys don't have to go through watching this entire thing Alright, so quick tip that I just want to tell you guys. After, when it is reloading data like it is right now, you want to be sure not to press the home button. Because if you do, it'll just get all messed up, and it'll take the same amount of time as it was to be to actually load the Cydia application than it would to get home. So that's another problem that you're going to face. With Cydia, everything it does run pretty slow, and after you download something off of Cydia, it also does reload data most of the time. There is an application that you can download which prevents this from happening, but I tried doing that and that really didn't work out too well because it ended up just reloading data in the end anyway. Alright, so now that it finally finished reloading, when you open up Cydia at first, this is what you're going to first see. It is the Cydia homepage. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. You have the little Cydia logo here with by J. Freeman Sarek. You go follow Sorok on Twitter. Go ahead, and if you do that, if you want to do that, go ahead. Cydia store products. Those are like featured products, and most of them are, if not all of them, you need to pay for. I'm just gonna go back because I really don't want to show you guys that featured packages. So uh, Cydia finds out a cool package they want to put it on their featured list. They do that. See if this loads up quickly. And yes, it does. A lot of these are. They do cost money, I think all of them do, but uh, they are worth it, some of them. Others are crap. Like, uh, see the under free applications? Those are all the featured free applications. All the ones at the top, sponsored products, or sponsoring products, those all do cost money, so I do not recommend downloading those unless you want to pay the money. There are different ways of getting cracked applications, or a different word for cracked would be free applications off of Cydia and you have free extensions extensions are just like applications but they do different things than the actual application uh... they have plenty of other things that are more hacker style and not the all are like the normal um... jailbroken person would use that's open ssh net talk net talk whatever mobile terminal a lot of people do use those for different reasons than the average jailbreaker would use. So I'm going to scroll a little down, more down here. There's more package sources. Those are the featured sources that they have on Cydia. I'll talk a little bit about sources a little further in the video so you guys all understand this a little more. But you guys really don't need to see that. Sources are um, they're extensions to Cydia. So if there's something in Cydia that you cannot download, you could add a source and that will be the source will have like a little extra so if there's a theme that you would want to download off of Cydia and say Cydia doesn't have it you could download a source that will um, 
have that theme. When you ask questions, you guys might want to look in there, but uh, I'm not going to do that for the purpose of length. I have a certain amount of length that I have to cut to. And copying files to from device, that's a little uh, guide that you could do. Open SSH. That's a pretty long tutorial there. You got, no. Root password, how to, really don't know what that is. Never looked into it. And uh, credits, thank you. You could donate to Cydia if you want, because it is a pretty nice application. You know, I want to go out and spend my time just to donate, but a lot of people would if they won't. So I, what I just did, I went from Cydia to Sections. And Sections, they have, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here, plenty of things I could go into. So Changes, I went from Sections to Changes. You saw that. They have brand new up-and-coming tweaks, music players, ringtones, themes, repositories, all this fun stuff that you could get. And there's actually a lot of new ones this month. Uh, this is going all the way back. Alright, anyway, you catch my drift on that part. So I'm going to go into Manage, Changes to Manage. Here you could pretty much do what it says. Manage packages. You can manage sources. You can manage storage. Alright, so now you have these three options. I'm going to go in Packages. If you ever download anything from Cydia, it'll be in Packages. Everything's going to be in Packages, not just Applications. So, anything and everything. I have so many things. I could go on forever with that. And then the last but not least thing in Manage is Sources. Sources are those extensions that I was talking about earlier. They do come with sources that are already installed. You cannot delete those sources. Sources that you did install manually, you can delete. So I have the sinful iPhone repo. If I wanted to delete it, I'd press edit in the upper right hand corner. Then I'd press a little red minus button and then press delete. I do not want to delete that because that is a very good source. Alright, so enough with the sources. Last thing, search bar. You will probably be spending most of your time in Cydia looking for things in the search bar. So I'm going to search for a classic Cydia application that every jailbroken device user should have and that is called winterboard so when you want to search for something you always type it in like you would on any search bar and on Cydia you have to kind of deal with uh, deal with the bad typing and everything until you get a new application an alternative whoops spelled winterboard wrong alternative to using um using uh, Cydia. So I just typed in Winterboard and a billion things come up. So you see on the right hand, I'm just gonna go down to W, kinda looks like hieroglyphics on Cydia. It's cause it's pretty bad. Actually I'm gonna press search and then it comes up with the all the letters. I'm gonna go into W and Winterboard. Not Winter Border. Not Winter Border. You don't wanna click that. You wanna click Winter Board. So I'm going to click Winterboard. Once you click on something to download, it gives you this page. This is the page that you will always download something from no matter what. Unless you download it from something else. Unless you download it from like an alternate source or a different application. This is always what you'll see. So I'm going to go back up to the top here. This is what you're always given at first. And then it gives this entire description on things about the um about the application itself or the tweak or the game whatever you're downloading this is actually how to get themes this is like your theme repository every theme that you download mostly will go into winterboard so if i downloaded the theme it would go into this thing called win so it gives you screenshots it gives you displays of what the the uh application does or what the application itself look like looks like this is not what the application looks like. This is just what the application makes your iPhone look like. In order to install something, you see what I have modify in the upper right hand corner. You're going to click that. Yours is going to say install if you haven't already installed it. And then you and then a little bit another pop up will come in that same spot. It'll say confirm. You are going to press confirm and it'll begin your download. Just like any other download, this does take up space on your on your device. So, um you know, just watch how much memory you have left on your device. So I'm going to press home now. And it does take a little while to respond, so just give it a second. And I am back to my home page.